thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. Thank you all so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. I feel like this is your channel as much as it is mine. And for yesterday's video, y'all, I'm sorry I came off so hard, but I really do appreciate all of your support. Uh, it wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, I really thought I would get in trouble saying the things that I said yesterday, but thank you so much. Y'all, a lot of things are happening right now that just might be really good for the fourth stimulus check and a raise for Social Security. We're going to talk about that in just a minute, but I've got two questions. Well, a question and a comment that I want to reply to before I get into that. Someone asked me if they write a letter to the president or to the other lawmakers, should they put their name on the letter? Okay. You know how YouTube is, people can make fake names and then they're free to say whatever they want to without any repercussions because they're too scared to put their real name on it. Uh, that's the way the letter would be if you don't put your name on it. So, yes, please put your, letter, put your name on the letter. That will give it some credibility that you stand behind what you're saying enough to put your name on it. Yes, by all means, put your name on the letter. Someone said they don't understand why can't we just impeach President Joe Biden. Well, first of all, we can't impeach a president. It would take Congress to do that. And I don't think the people would let Congress do it right now because so many people is riding on his gravy train. Uh, he's buying people with that gravy train. So I don't think there's the slightest chance of him being impeached. And you see the trouble that they had trying to impeach Donald Trump. Do we really want that same thing again? And if they did impeach him and he was actually removed from office, do you want what's next? That would be Kamala Harris would be your president. Guess who would be next in line? Nancy Pelosi. Do you really want that? No, I don't I don't support impeaching President Joe Biden a bit. Okay, y'all, on to the good news. There are 156 House Democrats that has sent a letter to President Joe Biden. Now, I know there's been other letters sent, but none with numbers like this. Uh, 156, that's 70% of the House, and it wouldn't take much to persuade the others to join suit. They are trying to get President Biden to lower the age that you would have to be to be accepted into Medicare. They want the age to be lowered to 60. That is a very good idea because there's some pe there's a lot of people that needs Medicare and can't get it because of their age. If they did lower the age limit to 60, that would mean 12 million more people would qualify for Medicare and they would get the medical needs and medications that they desperately need. They're also wanting him to expand the Medicaid, Medicare coverage to cover vision, hearing, and dental. I'm gonna talk on dental just a minute because I've had a lot of issues with dental. Right now my teeth are in good shape. They may not look that way, but medically they are in very good shape. Uh, but it was due to my cancer, the reason why I had to get my teeth fixed. Before I could start treatments, they made me get all of my dental work done. Okay, but 
tooth decay, tooth rot, uh, pyrrhea, gingivitis, all of these plaque, all of these things leads to even more serious health conditions like heart trouble, diabetes, stroke. All, I mean, dental work has a lot to do with your overall health. So why don't Medicare cover it? Seems like it would be a preventive measure for them and actually save on money. So yeah, I'm all for this uh, expanded Medicare. Vision, you know, to go get your eyes examined and a pair of glasses is not really that much, but for some people, $200 is a lot of money. So yeah, we need all of this expanded Medicare. That That is a very good thing. This is something that Bernie Sanders has been fighting for for a long time. But they just kind of always laugh Bernie Sanders off. They think he's kind of crazy. And I did too at first. But then I really got to listening to the man. And the man makes a lot of sense. He's probably one of the few in Washington right now that's got some brains. I think they do need to listen to him. But now he's got 156 uh, Democrats in the House back in what he's wanting. Maybe we can get more on. Now it's up to President Joe Biden what he does. He could do it without all of the uh, others joining in. He could just sign it into law as a presidential order. But Willie, we don't know yet. But that would be very good. It's about time to, to do something, get started, make this happen. It would help so many people. Let's just hope they do the right thing. Y'all, please comment below what you think about this Medicare cover, uh, coverage extension and the age limit for Medicare. I really think both of these things needs to pass and pass right away. Okay, on the fourth stimulus check, will we actually get a fourth stimulus check? Okay, we're going to talk about this. Some new things is happening that, that could go either way. On the first part of the bill, the infrastructure section of the bill, this part is just for infrastructure, roads, bridges, airports, rail system, that kind of stuff. Now, why they didn't take care of the people first and then take care of this in the second part is beyond me. But this stuff is important, but in my way of thinking, the people are more important, so the people should have been first. But I don't see stimulus checks or raises for Social Security being in this part. But it does look like the Republicans are coming to terms with the Democrats. It looks like maybe they will get this passed as a bipartisan measure. Let's hope so. Because the Democrats has got two chances to use a Recon Act. And if they waste one on this, they could have used it for something better down the road. Uh, but on the second part of this bill is the family's plan. The American family plan. I can never get that, that name right. Uh, that's where I do believe the stimulus checks will be uh, because that is all kinds of social programs to help people and what more would help the people than a stimulus check. So I think that's where that's going to be and this is going to be that part of the bill is going to be so out there with everything that's needed the Republicans will not go for this. It's going to have to be passed through reconciliation. That's why I think the bipartisan on the first part is a good thing. The second part will most likely be reconciliation. And if that's the case, then yes, a stimulus check can be in there. Reoccurring checks can be in there. A boost for Social Security can be in there. A raise for Social Security can be in there. And among a lot of other things they could throw in there. We'll just have to wait and see. But y'all think about this. How can they say no to a forced stimulus check or a raise to Social Security? How can they possibly say no? I mean, do you realize what no would mean? 
it would mean losing seats in the Senate and in the House. Because the midterm elections are coming up and they will lose seats. The Republicans will take over the House and the Senate. Okay, and then what's going to happen to President Joe Biden? Well, do you remember Donald Trump? He couldn't get anything done because everyone was against him. That same thing will happen to President Joe Biden. Last time it was Donald Trump and the Democrats was against him. He was against it. He, Donald Trump was against everybody. But uh, this time it will be the Republicans will be against President Joe Biden, and he will not be able to get anything done. So it's very important that they don't lose any seats. Uh, it would it would behoove them to gain more seats. They're already in control, but why not get more seats and be even more in control? Make that pad for them. So will the forced stimulus check happen? I'm almost certain that we will get a forced stimulus check. And if they pass that Re Reconciliation Act, reoccurring checks are very possible. I don't put a lot of credit into those reoccurring checks, but it just might happen. A raise for Social Security, that's going to have to happen. How can they keep saying no to people that's needing help the most? I mean, these seats are coming up. These votes are coming up. The midterm elections, it's all, it all depends on what they do now. But y'all, if they don't do a, a recurring stimulus check and they just give us a one-time 2000 or whatever they decide on, if they don't do a recurring check, I do believe that this will be our last check. Uh, even though there's a lot of people already talking about a fifth stimulus check, I don't think it will be a fifth stimulus check. It will either be a fourth stimulus check and reoccurring checks, or it will be a fourth stimulus check, and then that's it. No more of nothing. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. This is just how I see it. I may be wrong on it, on some of it. I don't, I don't pretend to know everything like a lot of people here does. But... Y'all just let me know what you think. Sound off in my comments. Please be hard on these lawmakers. Let them know what you hate about the job they're doing. Or what you love about the job they're doing. I don't see a whole lot to love about them right now. Y'all, but I do see one thing that is very positive and we all got to remember it. Jesus Christ is in in complete control keep your faith in jesus christ he will get us through this i don't think it's going to be much longer say a prayer for our country say a prayer for our leaders say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through covid financial hardship or any other affliction and just know i love you all and i'll see you next time ciao